Hey there everybody and welcome back to Trains Model Railroad Edition where we are finishing up the Santa Fe Needles District. Thank you for joining me today. It has been a long time since the last episode. I do apologize. I'll explain everything. I'll explain it all, I swear, uh, during the time lapse um, in just a moment, but I want to show you quickly without revealing what I've already done. <laughs> uh, what I've done since the last episode just with this area because this is kind of where we left off. Um, a few of you had mentioned that this roundhouse looked a little uh, European styled. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, I honestly haven't found a better model, so if anybody knows of one, let me know. Uh, this one works here in, uh, in, in terms of its size. Um, some of the other ones were way too big or way too small, so this one just happened to work. But if there's a better model out there, please let me know. Um, I did try to move this back a little tiny bit, um, but because of how it does snap, it just wasn't possible. It snapped way too far back and it looked kind of stupid. Um, so I left it as it is. I put in a parking lot back here. I'm trying to hide. I'm, I'm actually shooting this after I shot the time lapse. So uh, I'm trying to hide what I did during the time lapse. Um, I did put in this parking lot here. I uh, added some cross ties and stuff like that. And I added some junk underneath the uh, overpass over here as well. And um, I also added a couple of trucks and a crossing right here. Um, one of the other comments you guys had mentioned was this little bend in the tracks here. Um, again, because of how this snaps, uh, I couldn't move it over or, I, or rotate it. It snaps in all directions. So this was kind of the best scenario that I could come up with. Um, so yeah, so that's that, um, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess that's all I gotta say right now. So let's get into the time lapse, and uh, we'll have a quick talk, and then uh, and then we'll we'll talk some more. All right, guys, welcome to the time lapse. Um, this is kind of a shorter time lapse and it's kind of self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what I'm doing on screen. Uh, I'm going to use this time, uh, I guess, a little bit more to give you guys um, some kind of an update as to what is going on. Uh, but first, I'll let you know what is going on in the time lapse. Um, so I used this episode as a final detail-ridden episode, so I spent some time adding uh, switch levers, um, this final parking lot right here at Barstow, the overpass, just kind of completing this area. Um, I went and added some more telephone lines, street lights, and, and that sort of thing. You, you'll see it in a minute. I don't really need to explain it. It should be pretty self-explanatory. And, uh, and then I go over it again um, afterwards in the closing. And I know that because I already shot my closing. Uh, so hopefully I don't end up repeating myself. I always say this. Um, I took notes this time, so I should be okay. So. First thing I would like to uh, explain to you guys is uh, a lot of you guys know, or most of you know by now, that I have been in the middle of this move for like a month, over a month now, and uh, it hasn't been easy. Um, and I had to relocate from Brooklyn all the way to the other side of New York State uh, for a new job, which I love, by the way. It is going really well. I'm super excited to be a part of it, and uh, uh, so much to talk about there, but I'll leave that for another, another video. Um, so currently I, I don't have a place to live yet, uh, of my own, so I've been staying with my sister-in-law. Um, and because of that, I'm, I'm kind of staying in a very small bedroom. Um, I, they call it a bedroom, but it's really just a walk-in closet, basically. Uh, I have enough space to have my PC set up and a full-size air mattress. Um, but my PC is literally, like, set up in the corner. It's not the best recording situation, and I don't have a whole lot of time to record when they're home because it's a very noisy um, house that, that I'm staying in. Uh, so it's making recording a little bit difficult. Um, that combined with the fact that I am still looking for a place to live, I don't have like a shred of time right now. Uh, every day after work, uh, I've been looking at apartments and, and anything that I could find. So a lot of my free time has just been occupied just trying to find a place to live. Um, and then, you know, when I do have the free time, everybody's home, they have pets, it's very loud, so I, I really can't record. So, that's my excuse there. Uh, secondly, why was there no video last week? Um, I did have a video planned for last week, I had a bunch of video, uh, pre-recorded for the Pennsylvania and Berwind. 
And uh, when I got into the editing stage, I realized how boring of an episode it was gonna be. And I scratched it. I said, forget it, this episode sucks. Nobody's gonna watch it. So I was gonna record, I actually started to record a new video. And uh, as I was recording this new video, I, I like to take my footage and check it and make sure that everything's recording properly as, you know, as I'm recording. Well, my computer is in such sorry shape right now that uh, everything, all the footage that I had recorded um, was corrupted. All the audio was out of sync, everything was just totally messed up, so it was totally unusable. Uh, so I had to scrap it, I didn't have any more time to mess around with anything or to try to record uh, a Trains Model Railroad episode, I just, I was out of time. Uh, so, in my current state right now with my PC, I cannot really run Trains A New Era and record at the same time and get anything of, of any sort of quality. So, uh, right now the PMP is kind of on hold, and uh, with that in mind, uh, because my PC is dying, I did order a new PC. Um, I am building it myself, as I said in, in the past. Um, a couple of the specs I will just fill you in on. I am building a Core i7-7700K with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM uh, and an Asus uh, gaming motherboard. I can't remember the specific model. Uh, I'm gonna use my GTX 970 or 960 graphics card that I have right now. I'm gonna stick with that uh, until I can afford a, a better graphics card. Um, I'm also gonna throw three SSD hard drives in there, one for the OS, one for trains, one for recording directly onto, and then I'm gonna throw a SATA drive in there uh, for uh, for my, I guess my Steam library or whatever. I don't, I'm not even sure what else I'll use that for. I, I haven't decided what, how I'm gonna organize it. But those are just some of the specs. The PC is in the mail, or the parts are in the mail. Uh, at the time of this recording, I should have everything by tomorrow. Uh, actually, by the time you're watching this video, I might be assembling my new PC. So, with all of that in mind, um, I want to thank you guys for bearing with me during this really ridiculous transition uh, in my life uh, because right now this channel is doing way, way better than I had, could have ever imagined and I feel really, really bad that I can't nurture it the way that I really want to. Um, but all I can really tell you guys is that once my life stabilizes just a little tiny bit, I find my own apartment, I'm trying to find a place that I could set up like a little studio for myself so it's easier for me to record. Um, once I get my own space, and once I get this new PC set up, it's gonna be much better and I can get back to recording videos the way that I was recording them earlier on uh, when I first started the series and I had more time and my PC wasn't about to, to melt down. Um, so we will be back to normal soon enough. Um, just bear with me. Um, so with that in mind as well, um, I can't guarantee what my upload schedule is gonna be. I'm gonna try to keep it to Fridays or Saturdays with maybe the odd Tuesday in there if I have like a tutorial video or something like that that, um, I don't know, pops up randomly and I can shoot it quickly. Um, so right now, I don't know when the next episode is gonna be. I'll do my best to get the final episode of Trains Model Railroad out by next Friday or Saturday. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm running out of time on this time lapse. The last thing I think I want to, I want to mention, and I'm gonna go more into depth with it in, uh, in next full episode that I could put together is uh, the donations. A few of you have donated uh, and I want to thank you right now really quickly because I haven't had a video since I set up the donation button. So thank you so much for those of you ha who have donated uh, since the last episode. I really appreciate it. It is, it will certainly help support my channel and support, uh, you know, me getting this computer and, and uh, producing more videos. Um, I will do something special for you guys uh, in the PNB. Uh, so just stay tuned for that and I'll give you a real thank you. Um, but I don't want to get too much more in depth with that. Let's just let the le uh, last little bit of this time lapse uh, finish up and then we'll go into live mode. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, um, and I hope to uh, get back to doing episodes the way that I used to when I first started doing this and uh, throw a cinematic in there at the end, but um, 
Like I said, my machine is just not doing anything that very well right now. It is struggling to do much of anything. Um, so, let's just take one last look. Um, here goes my phone. Uh, let's take a look at, one last time at what uh, what what kind of work I did uh, during the time lapse, just in case you missed it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I uh, I didn't talk about it because um, I haven't recorded my voiceover yet. Because I'm uh... Uh, so yeah, we got telephone poles here. We got all these switch stands. These switch stands that I used are the New Century switch stands. They came out a few years ago, I believe. And they do appear to be floating now that I'm looking at them closer, so I might have to do something about that. Um, New Century Switch Stands, really, really great models. Uh, I highly recommend downloading them and uh, and using them, because there is quite the variety of flags. And I, I feel like I've talked about this before in PNB, maybe. Um, definitely check those out. They are really, really nice assets to have. Um, we also got some more power lines going down this way. I spent a lot of time looking at images, uh, photographs of the uh, the Barstow area. And uh, this area kind of felt really blank to me. Um, but then after looking at more photos, uh, I realized that that's just uh, what the region looks like. It's just telephone poles and some sparse vegetation. So, uh, yep, so that's that. Um, I did also throw in some more lighting here and there. Um, let's see if I can remember where I put it. I think I put a telephone pole or a street light back here. Yep. And we got one over here as well. And I put a few in the parking lot. There's one here and there's one on the other side. Um, one thing uh, that I didn't talk about is this parking lot. I thought it would be, uh, it'd be, it would look better to do it in a different direction um, because the, the parking lot on this side goes lengthwise with the tracks and uh, so does the uh, the needles parking lot for the needle station so I thought maybe I'd mix it up a little bit and uh, add some depth um, I also saw some uh, photos that they use these brick walls out there so I found that uh, of course some garbage up in there uh, let's see what else do I want to talk about real quick oh so um, so yeah all that's gonna be left for the next episode um, and I think I could do it in one episode, is uh, doing the, uh, what is it called? The um, dig holes, that's it. Doing the dig holes and putting up the fascia and um, just doing that. Um, in, in between this one and the next one, I am gonna do the signaling. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll start next episode off explaining how I, or what I did with the signaling. I, I'm not a signaling expert, um, so I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of like trial and error involved, and uh, I don't think that that's gonna make for a very interesting video. So I'm gonna figure it out off camera, and then uh, just bring you guys in once I get it figured out and get everything laid out. Um, the other thing is, uh, I was gonna do it in this episode, and uh, I was looking at um, how tight some of these clearances are. So for example, right here at this junction, there should be some kind of signals, uh, I would think, somewhere in here. So I'm not really sure where I would put that. I, it's gonna take me messing around with it for a little bit to, to figure out what works best and what type of signal to use and etc etc so we'll kick off next episode uh, with some signaling and then uh, we'll do all the dig holes and we'll make this room look like our layout room and um, that might be the last episode I, I've said this already I've said it before I think that that might be it that might be our last episode but we'll see we will see and then uh, after that once the uh, once the map is complete I want to get it out to you guys somehow I have to figure out where I'm gonna host it um, I'd like to get a website up for myself where I can host this map and the PNB and other assets that I create, but um, due to my schedule and stuff like that, I don't know how possible that's going to be, um, but I'll figure something out. And, um, yep, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you've enjoyed this video or any of the other videos on my channel and you'd like to support me, there is a donation button in the top right corner of the main part of my page, right next to the Twitter and Instagram icons. There is absolutely no obligation. I'm just throwing it out there. If you do have a couple extra bucks and you'd like to help support my channel, that is greatly appreciated. As I mentioned, um, doing this video series has pretty much crapped out my computer and I <laughs> have to buy a new one if I plan on doing anything else. Uh, it is in the mail, so. Uh, again, no obligation. I'm just throwing it out there. You could also hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment because I always love reading your comments and responding to them. Uh, so with that in mind, guys, thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.